All right, so I've already taken off his bandage from yesterday. So I'm gonna start with the new bandage. First, I have to clean out his wound. I do this with uh, some cold water and a clean cloth. I know, buddy, I know. He's been in a little bit more pain than he usually is, so he's a little tender, but that's okay. Good boy, I know, I know. Shh, I know, buddy. Gotta make sure that you are gentle on the wound because it does have to be clean, but it's really tender, so make sure you're not rubbing or anything. Just dab away at the wound. Oh, I know, buddy, I know. Good boy. So good. Shh, shh, shh. I know. Good boy. And then once the wound is all cleaned off, you may have to make sure that it's dry. So I take a dry cloth and I will pat down the area around the wound and I will pat down the wound itself, but only a little bit because I really don't want to hurt him too much. I know, Shh, you're okay, good boy. And then gotta make sure that all debris are clear of the wound because you really don't want anything in there. So all hair, any hay, anything whatsoever. And then you have to take, I have part of a Tefla pad here and some honey and Epsom salts. The uh, honey prevents infection and the Epsom salts help draw out moisture. Um, and then I'm just going to spread that on the Tefla pad uh, and, and I'm going to take some medical tape to put around the Tefla so it stays on. Good boy, Lucy. Yeah, good boy. And then he doesn't like this part so he's going to probably flinch a little bit. I know, I know. Good boy. So you want to keep them as still as possible. So usually I have to end up holding his leg for this part. Because he really doesn't like it. Shh, good boy. I know. But it really does help. And it's probably one of the most important steps. So I make sure to do it every time. Good boy. Alrighty. And then... To secure the Tefla, I put on a few layers of vet wrap around it. Good boy, I know. You gotta stay still though. Good boy. There you go. Make sure not to put it too tight or you could cut off some circulation. And you wanna get a good couple layers on there in case some falls off. And to make sure that Tefla is nice and secure, I know, buddy. And try and make sure that there's no wrinkles, because that can really bother a horse and even worsen the injury if there's wrinkles in the vet wrap. Good boy. And then I secure the vet wrap with some medical tape. Can you show your foot again, buddy? Good boy. Good. Shh, shh, shh. I know, I know. With some medical tape, cut the layers so it doesn't fall. And we're done. Good boy.